This is Michael Popak, Legal AF. Donald Trump's team is not telling the truth to the American people, and now they're lying about the fact that they're going to be using Project 2025 and the Heritage Foundation's database of over 18,000 people in order to staff the government at every level, including at top cabinet positions. Of course they are. Project 2025 and the database for Heritage Foundation, they've been building that for the last two years. They have been, Heritage Foundation and Project 2025 have been effectively a government in exile, a shadow government uh, of MAGA to return to office on the coattails of Donald Trump. There's no other way to describe it. 140 people that worked in the Trump administration at top levels are all in the Heritage Foundation think tank, which is also made of other MAGA think tanks. Um, and they have been actively recruiting people to come into the government. They've been doing emails and mailers and holding breakfast seminars to teach people how to get jobs in the Trump administration. So for the heads of the uh, Trump transition team to go into the war room, this, I'm sorry, the spin room after the J.D. Vance waltz debate and say, oh, sorry, sorry, oh, Project 2025, Heritage Foundation. Oh, uh, uh, there's gambling going on here. That could never be. They're radioactive. It's a, it's a non-starter. We would never use the radio, this is their words, the radioactive Heritage Foundation or Project 2025 to vet people. No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, non, it's a non-starter. Zero. That's a clear position. That was from the transition team, including Linda McMahon, whose husband is the family that founded World Wrestling Federation and WWE. And this has all been one giant, uh, all we have is a WWE candidate in Donald Trump. He acts like he's a wrestler. He he performs like he's a wrestler. He thinks he's a wrestler. Uh, and he learned it at the knee of, of McMahon. And so this group, when you hear this group, World Wrestling Federation, the home of fake wrestling, and the other heads of the transition team looking you in the eye and saying, it, it, they're radioactive, we would never. I mean, the one good thing is they admit that uh, Heritage Foundation and Project 2025 is radioactive, and no doubt, no, and I know why. Go read their manifesto, right? Go read their book that's out there, The Mandate for Leadership, 350 pages you know, uh, of, of the blueprint for Donald Trump. It's going to be used by him. They have a database of 18,000 people that they have developed for the purposes of placing them in government if Donald Trump were to be returned to office. They are, if you read the book, Project 2025 is anti-abortion and a woman's right to choose. In fact, they want to use the CDC, the Center of Disease Control, and this is in the book, to monitor and uh, and data collect women's exercising their reproductive rights and their reproductive health choices, including tracking abortions. Um, they're anti-education. They want to get rid of the Department of Education. They're anti-First Amendment, including pornography for adults. They want to eliminate that in society. They want to put church, the church, inside government and running government. They want to uh, get rid of the barrier between church and state. They are for a unified president, a, a power, all-powerful president above the checks and balance system of our three co-equal branches of government. They are anti-dignified immigration policy. They just want to, quote unquote, close the borders um, and the like. And so now, it, but he knows, Donald Trump knows, as his transition head just said, that Project 2025 is radioactive. It came up on the debate stage with Kamala Harris and, you know, his fumbling around, Donald Trump's fumbling around, you know, uh, Project 2025, I don't really know what that is. You know what that is. Your people know what that is. It's a lie. And 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 what's going to happen is they're going to get, um, if they get elected, and when they start picking out from that, they'll hope that the American people forgot the statements that were being made in the spin room about they're radioactive. We would never pick from that database. It's the only database they're going to pick from. Every major cabinet position Donald Trump will fill will come from the Heritage Foundation Project 2025 database and vetting, I assure you. He will put them in charge of vetting. It's not just going to be these two heads of his transition team, including the World Wrestling Federation person and a Wall Street person. It's going to be dyed in the dyed in the red, MAGA, MAGA, uh, think tanks like Heritage Foundation. They've already got the a head start. They've already got the head start. So we're not watching a war of worlds, a war, a war of words. Uh, like, and so they're, they're doing it to make the American people um, confused. I'm not confused. And that's why I do hot takes like this one. Traditional bed sheets, they can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat. 
It can lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses, and it's just gross. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning antibacterial bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent up to 99.7% of bacteria growth and require up to three times less laundry. Using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long, no matter the weather. So you get better sleep every night. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. Stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Go to trymiracle.com slash legal AF to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo, Legal AF at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's back with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash legal AF and use the code legal AF to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash legal AF to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. You know, I know, I know what they want here. I know what I know what the transition team wants. They want to preserve their optionality. And they want to have plausible deniability by setting up a different position as a front face to the American people to say, we're Project 2025, we'd never do that. Well, that's exactly what what the uh, uh, that gives Donald Trump plausible deniability and optionality on the campaign trail. And that's exactly what they're going to do if they were to somehow win in November. And, and I'll come back here if, if it's not Madam President. I'll come back here and tell you every time they pick somebody out of the database. And so for, let me just tell you what the Democrats are saying about this in their rapid response. Um, they're saying, uh, and this is by Alex Floyd, who is the uh, rapid response director for the DNC. Don't take our word for it. Donald Trump's own transition team knows that the Trump Vance Project 2025 agenda is radioactive. But a former staffer has gone on the record admitting that it would be impossible to do a transition without including Project 2025 people. So they can say it's toxic, it's a non-starter or all they want. But that's just a that's just a facade, a thin veneer to try to get elected. It's election interference, if anything. Uh, there's a new website coming out. We're going to be talking about it over on Legal AFMTN, our new channel with court accountability that's devoted to Project 2025. The new website is project2025.wtf, and it's run by Court Accountability. It just got started, project2025.wtf. Got to go there now along with our new YouTube channel, Legal AFMTN for Midas Touch Network on YouTube, uh, where we already have, a hundred, we're going to hit 170,000 subscribers in just 19 days. It's amazing. It's all because of you. Now, look, what can you do about this? Uh, sure, you need to hold Donald Trump's feet to the fire and make his transition team and his campaign pay the price for lying to the American people. And you can only do that one way. Early voting has started in many states. Already a couple of million votes have been cast. November 5th, really important. Mail-in voting, important. Absentee voting, important. And registration right up until the moment that you can't register anymore is really important for Americans to vote. There's no other way to put it. Um, but, but, to, but to leave you on this so that it's clear, about Project 2025 and putting aside the comments about uh, we're, we'll never, they're radioactive. That same transition team headed by those same people have already, according to other reporting, reached out to people affiliated with Project 2025 to source their, uh, their cabinet and staffer positions. They have to do that. Um, everybody that created Project 2025, the 140 people of former Trumpers, current Trumpers, created it. J.D. Vance did a forward for the book written by the Heritage Foundation uh, head, executive director, Kevin Roberts. 
And this is the groundwork uh, for it. That means that that they can't run away from it. J.D. Vance is completely immersed in Project 2025, as is Johnny McEntee, who used to be the head of Donald Trump's personnel office originally. It will be again. They've already laid out. There is already a PowerPoint filling thousands of positions that have been delivered to Donald Trump's team, selected, handpicked by the Heritage Foundation. We're watching, again, the hijacking of a presidency by right-wing MAGA trying to shove their policies down our throats and through our body parts. That's what we're watching. Just like we're watching the hijacking of the federal courts and Supreme Court by that's those same types of interests. We'll continue to follow it right here on the Midas Touch Network and on Legal AF. We have a brand new, we have so much to talk about that Legal AF and Midas Touch got together and said, let's do a new channel. Pro-democracy parallel and collaboration with Midas Touch Network at Legal AF MTN for Midas Touch Network over on YouTube. Help us get to 200,000 subscribers before Halloween. That's really our goal here. Um, and great new content. Court Accountability Action has joined over, has joined us in bringing some great new content every week, three, four, five times a week about the federal court system and the corruption there and what you can do about it. A new show devoted to the United States Supreme Court. I'm doing with Dina Dahl called Unprecedented. And then hot takes like this at the intersection of law and politics. So join me there, Legal AF the podcast, Legal AF the, the YouTube channel, and my hot takes. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Michael Popak, and I'm reporting. In collaboration with the Midas Touch Network, we just launched the Legal AF YouTube channel. Help us build this pro-democracy channel where I'll be curating the top stories, the intersection of law and politics. Go to YouTube now and free subscribe at Legal AF MTN. That's at Legal AF MTN.